This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. We got this question in from Kyle. He writes, there are many times when I need to print something that is on my phone and I need to print at home. I was looking into the Google Cloud Print service. However, none of the printers in my household come with that service built in. It is noteworthy that currently all of my three printers are connected to the internet on my network wirelessly, so none of them are actually connected to any of the computers. Is there any way I can utilize this already working service or use a different kind of program to access these printers from remote locations? Kyle. Well, Kyle, our AP Michael Hand has a low cost and low power way to do this. So what do you have for us, Michael? The Raspberry Pi, of course. Of course. Because that's all I talk about on this show. You're our go-to guy Yes. for Raspberry Pi. But it is really great because it's a low-powered computer that it really is a computer, and it only costs 35 bucks. So. so are you saying that we could use this as like a Google Cloud Print server? Yes. So it's exactly what Kyle was thinking, that he would have to have an always-on computer to do Google Cloud Print, mm -hmm. but this computer just happens to be a Raspberry Pi. Nice. All right. So so Kyle was on the right track with having, a, uh, with having an always-on computer. Yeah. He just needs something that's low-powered and, you know, you could even take that with you on the go. Yeah, you could, <laughs> yes. Um, but this, the setup that we're going to do is actually, you have this hooked into your network, so it's always on. And the way Google Cloud Print works is that once you're signed into your account, you can use, like, your phone or, like, a computer with Chrome anywhere else on the, like, anywhere in the world, really, mm -hmm. just as long as it's internet connected. So the way you set it up, it's actually not too difficult. Um, how to Geek has a really good article on how to get just normal printing working on a Raspberry Pi because when I was going through this, that was actually the most difficult step was just getting the printer working, which has nothing to do with the Raspberry Pi. It's just um, Linux is a little bit harder than... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But so check out the How to Geek article on how to do that. Basically, all you're doing is installing the CUPS um, printer package and then from there you go into the admin settings and then add the printer from there. So in our office, all of the network printers just automatically showed up. Um, so the, it gives you the option and then you just add them from there um, and then like select the right driver from there. Mm -hmm. um, so once those are set up and once you can actually print to the printers that you're trying to do, then you want to install Chromium. And Chromium is just like the open source version of Chrome. Chrome. Yeah. Um, and there's already built package for the Raspberry Pi. So the way you get that is you do sudo apt-get install chromium. And then that downloads the package. That will download then, yeah. it, set it all up. And then from there, you want to open up chromium, go to settings, advanced settings, and then there's a little option for Google Cloud Print right there. And all you have to do is um, click like add printers and then sign into your account. And then that'll find all of the printers that are already set up on your Raspberry Pi and then add that to the Google Cloud Print service. Oh, right. neat. So once that's all set up, then you can use your phone, tablet, anywhere in the world to print to it. That It'll just automatically show up as an option. Right. So the only downside to this is not everything can print to Google Cloud Print. Like, so you have to use, we did a daily tip on how to set it up for a Windows, for Windows so that you right. can use it everywhere. But for other operating systems, you usually have to use Chrome to print with that. Mm -hmm. Or like on Android or iOS, there are specific apps that can use it. But there's a whole list, Google has a whole list on what is actually compatible. Yeah, I've been able to use it for my iPhone pretty regularly, cool. and, and it works fine. Um, and I'm assuming Android is just as easy, obviously, because yeah. it's baked right in. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like a really great, I mean, I, I've done it too, where you do like, you save file as, and then you can use Google Cloud Print to save it to your Google Drive. I mean, yeah. there's all sorts of different little workaround things that you can do. Yeah, that, that is one nice thing that it is built into Google Drive. That's mm -hmm. like one of the built-in apps that it's ready to go already. But this is a printout that I did. It's the Google homepage. It looks home great. Page. It looks fantastic. Yes. <laughs> From my phone over 4G, and it just works. Nice. For when you actually have to print something. I feel yeah. like less and less do I need to actually physically print something, but it's nice to know the options there. Completely wireless and low-powered, low-cost solution using the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, go for it. Not bad. Another ringing endorsement for the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> and of course, our Raspberry Pi maestro, Michael Hand. Thank you so much for being on the show again. No problem. All right. There's more Texel still to come, but before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneur Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. 
Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET is only $8.99 a year. They're also reliable and easy to use. The folks at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings. And don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com.